And on the seventh day, the God said, Let there be light! And it was good. Good day, friends. Journey with me, if you will, to explore this fantastic new book by AK Interactive. Figure painting techniques by the great Kirill Kanaev. First off, you'll notice the sheer heft of this book. Weighing in at more than four pounds. It's a soft cover printed in a satin finish at a whopping 487 pages. There's no way you're getting through that in one evening. I'll be flipping through the book quickly so you can see the sheer magnitude of the information that's within the book. I'll then show you some of the key points as to why I believe this book is so valuable to have as a reference in your collection. All right, like I said, I'm going to flip through the book really quickly and show you some of the chapters. As you can see here, I have some chapters marked that I think are the most important parts about this book and why I feel you will need this in your collection to fully understand how to paint a miniature properly. All right, let's take a look at this book at full speed. So we have our introduction, then we get into the chapters in the book, as you can see. Then we get into materials, and he just goes through tools, brushes, airbrushes, different types of cleaners and thinners, wet palettes, different tools you can use for sculpting and, and painting. And then there's just uh, a section here on the workspace, getting your figure ready, prepping, how to prep resin and plastic, and adding extra detail to your figures. And then colors, which I'm going to get into a little, a little more here soon and then color mixes which is an important part we'll talk about that in a little more depth and basic concepts another good chapter and techniques different types of techniques he talks about and there is actually a section here on oils somebody was asking me about that he does go into oils a bit. I didn't think he was an oil painter, but obviously he does it all. How to paint skin. He goes through all the different types of skin colors, natives, uh, dark skin, black skin, fair skin, all the rest of that. And then he goes through how to paint hands, how to paint eyes. Like I said, this book is really comprehensive. It's got everything you'd ever want to know about painting figures in it. And it's not just short chapters, it goes really into the meat of how to do all of these techniques. Camel patterns, camouflaged fabrics, uh, garments with textures in them, how to paint textures on clothing, which I find really interesting. I'd like to give that a try sometime. All different types of fabrics and how they're made and how they should be painted. Leather, damaged leathers, how animals are part of clothing and figure painting, lighting situations, which we'll talk about in a minute again. Metallic painting with metallics, non-metallic metal techniques, which is great. I need to know more about that myself. I paint coppers and gold and bronze and steel, reflective surfaces, how different environments reflect off metals. He's got a real big article right at the end here that shows you how to paint this steel uniform fully all the way through. Then he goes into wood, how to paint wooden surfaces, how to paint realistic looking wood grain. There's something here on gemstones, pearls, and crystals, showing you how to paint all that. And there's some OSL stuff here at the end, which we'll talk about a little more. And then the index with all of the equivalency charts for paints. And that is the quick overview of the book. Let's talk about these chapters that I have flagged here. We'll take a little more in-depth look at that coming up. So the first page of flag here is color concepts. And all these areas that I flagged in the book that I think are very important for you to know and learn about figure painting are all things I learned when I spent four years in an art institute learning about 
how color interacts with other things and you know reflection and light and shadow and perspective and all that kind of stuff he gets into it in these chapters here and that's why I think these chapters are alone worth getting this book for let alone everything else that's in it. The color concepts he goes through saturation and brightness color temperature. We're working with the color wheel here. I'm not sure if some of you are familiar with that. The color wheel shows you what are complementary and contrasting colors on the color wheel so that you know what would work with what and what would make something look more exciting by adding contrasting colors or what have you. The classic triad is red, blue, and yellow. And analog triad includes three nearest colors, so again, this is color theory. And color theory is really important, in my opinion, for learning how to paint proper figures and really well you know, executed figures. And then color mixes, how to mix colors properly. Another thing that you know a lot of people stumble and have trouble understanding is color theory. How to mix colors and make the, you know, what goes with what. You know, what happens when you mix yellow and red, what happens when you mix yellow and blue. You know, you get green, uh, you get orange if you mix yellow and red, and so on. And he goes into blues and yellows, purples, reds. The next chapter is lighting concepts, basic concepts of lighting. How to light your figure properly. He goes through a sphere, you know, understanding the way light plays on a sphere or a tube or a cylinder. Another great chapter that everybody should know a little bit about. Then he talks about how to light your figures or you know what would happen if you lit your figures this way, how the light would affect it. And overhead zenithal light, another extremely important thing. This is what I do a lot when I'm painting my figures, when I do pre-shading. And if you're using your airbrush, you're spraying from the top and bottom, depending where you want this figure to be lit, you can hit your airbrush from those ways, those different areas will cause different effects on the figures. Zenithal light is another very important thing to learn and know about. A small chapter on oils, and it goes through what the labels on the oil packaging mean, different types of brushes you may want to try with oils as opposed to using your acrylic brushes on, different mediums, and then he goes through a chapter on how to paint this miniature in oils. And then there's, you know, just things with glazes and stippling outlining basic things that most of us know. Another chapter here I find is very important is reflective surfaces and he talks about how objects around an object will reflect light onto them to create different patterns. And he gives you some examples here and you know, different ways that light is reflecting down on something. All very very important concepts and theory to know if you're painting figures and you're trying to paint them well. More illustrations showing that same effect on armor. And of course the last chapter here that I find is very important to learn about is special effect. He's talking about OSL pre-shading which is basically object source lighting, meaning lighting that is coming from possibly multiple different ways or areas. So you might have red coming from one side and blue coming from another such as here. Like he talks here, double illumination here. He's got moonlight coming down with campfire, a bonfire being shown off behind the figure. Something that's really cool if you can pull it off, it's very hard to do. Again, super great way to add drama to your figures. And there you have it, friends, my review on the fantastic new figure painting techniques by Kirill Kanayev. I would definitely recommend this book. This will be my go-to book from now on when I'm looking to source or reference different ways of painting figures and I would suggest you uh, take a look and possibly pick this up. It's not cheap, like I said it's a very thick book but in my opinion well worth the money. Hey if you like what I'm doing here please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification below, like and share this video with others in this great modeling community.